Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about joy over jealousy. And I feel like when I say joy over jealousy, we can go into defense mode. Uh, and we can say, yeah, I'm fine. I'm not jealous of anything. I'm joyful. Everything's perfectly fine. And I did the same thing. Um, but when we really look at ourselves, when we look at our culture today, we can see that we get jealous a lot. Like I looked at my own life and I'm engaged, I'm about to be married, but I don't have everything planned out perfectly. And I found myself getting jealous of people who did um, or who seemed to. And I know I love God, I love my church, and I love Christian, my fiance, but I didn't have like the nice house or a really nice car or everything else that people have. Um, and I found myself getting jealous and that jealousy took away my joy. I found myself not being content. And in this world, it's really hard for us to be content. We always want that new iPhone that everyone else has, so I need. We always find ourselves wanting that nice car that all these other people are driving, so I need to drive it. And what about all these people that have super cute clothes while I have been wearing the same five outfits for the past year? And especially with social media today, it is really hard not to fall into that comparison trap. And I'll stand up and defend social media all day, but it can be harmful for people. It can really be a difficult place and a harmful trap for people and a comparison trap for people. So with jealousy, we are filling a void. That's what it is. Um, we are not content with what we have, so we are striving to get things to fill our void, to make us feel whole. Uh, when in reality, that's not gonna make us feel joyful. That's not gonna make us feel content. We are never gonna be content striving after those things. And in 1 Timothy 6, 6 through 9, and verse 11, it says, Yet true godliness with contentment is itself great wealth. After all, we brought nothing with us when we came into the world, and we can't take anything with us when we leave it. So if we have enough food and clothing, let us be content. But people who long to be rich fall into temptation and are trapped by many foolish and harmful desires that plunge them into ruin and destruction. But you, Timothy, are a man of God. So run from all these evil things. Pursue righteousness and a godly life, along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Guys, we need to live like this. We need to be content with all that God has provided for us. I mean, Paul, the author of First Timothy, wrote about contentment and joy while he was sitting in prison. And he could do that because he trusted in God and trusted that God would provide him with everything he needed. He knew he lacked nothing with God. And we need to live that way. We need to run from the jealousy of this world. Because in the scripture, it says that that will lead us to destruction. And in Jesus, that is where we will find our ultimate joy. We aren't going to find it in this world, no matter how hard we look. We are only going to find joy in Jesus, in the Lord. Because Jesus has saved us. He has saved us from sin and death and condemnation. That is the best news I could possibly think of. And that brings me the most joy and excitement to hear and to talk about. Um, we have been redeemed. That's the best. And so we need to live like we've been redeemed. We need to find our joy in that and not in this world. This doesn't mean that we are going to have a perfect life. That's not what God is saying. We are going to struggle, but through Jesus, we will have joy and peace in the midst of the struggle. And guys, to end this little message, I wanted to share my two favorite verses with you. It's Psalm 13, five through six. And it says, but I will trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. 
guys, I hope and pray that you rejoice in in the Lord and all that he has provided in you. And I pray that when that comparison trap comes up, when you feel yourself getting stuck in that, that you would recognize that in Christ, you lack no good thing. All right, guys, I hope you found encouragement in this and I hope it blesses you. And as always, we love you and we will see you next week. Thanks for watching. <music>